Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Hi guys, it's Dear Natural 62. I'm coming to do a 50 Shades of Grey inspired nail. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Inspired by 50 Shades of Grey, so I'm using OPI's 50 Shades of Grey's collection. Let's get started. Now I've already applied my base coat. I've applied my the color that I'm going to be using, which is the white. I've applied two coats of that just so that my colors will come out brilliant and more diverse, which I want. If you don't do a base coat, what ends up happening, your colors tend to look pale and faded, and we don't want that. And as you can see, I've already applied my cutie tape. If you're interested in purchasing my cutie tape, definitely email me at dearnatural62 at yahoo.com. And I also have this available in red too, especially for Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Now, for those that don't know, I'm using regular room temperature water. There's nothing fancy in the water. It's just regular room temperature. You'll see the colors open up easily. If you're having difficulty with your color, Colors, then that might mean that your polishes are too thick and if that's the case you might need a nail polish thinner um, if you check out my top five favorite nail products you'll see the one that I use now talking a little bit about this movie this movie is supposed to be ultra sexy ultra risque it is for adults I'm sorry to say <laughs> but you know my water marble tends to be for everyone but the movie may be a little adult like <laughs> you know we're gonna do a little drop of red in the center so now what we're gonna do now to gather your design you can use anything you like. I'm using a push pen. You can use a toothpick, an orange stick, a nail art brush, the skinniest dotting tool. All of them work. The key to water marble is just gently. I'm going to anchor this just so it doesn't move while I'm making the design. But the key to this is gently moving to the top of the surface of the water. So gliding your item, whatever, which whatever one it is. Let's move that and just gently grazing the surface. Now when it comes to design, you know, be carefree. You know, there's no rules in this. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. You can do whatever you want. I've done so many different creations, so take a look at my other videos if you want inspiration. And you know, make it work. I'm gonna be dipping three fingers. So a lot of people always ask, can you dip more than one finger? Yes, you can. So I'm gonna try to use different aspects of this, so that's why I did them in different ways. If your nails are shorter, I would say, take a look at my Valentine's Day video, which is right before this. I'm doing water marble on short nails. I gathered the design much closer. For longer nails, you can spread out your design more. So now, because I have my ring finger painted in red, I'm gonna scoop that behind and get these three fingers in there. Now all you do is blow on the surface of the water and then you just clean the surface of the water. Now if you need to see this, I'll move out of the way so you can see I have to clean the surface of the water. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I pull my fingers out, I don't want anything to appear on my nails. So now we're gonna slowly pull our fingers out of the water to try to avoid water bubbles. Let's see what we came up with. Now, didn't they just come out so beautiful? This is absolutely so gorgeous, different shades of gray. So I'm gonna show you how to remove the cutie tape and then I'll be right back with doing some embellishments. So now all you have to do with the cutie tape is is literally lift up one corner. Once you do that, you just lift and pull. Voila! Minimal cleaning left after this. Just probably a little bit around the cuticle. 
just right around here and that's it. Can you believe that? This is so amazing. So definitely, this is the best thing. And not just for water marble. You can use my cutie tape if you're doing stamping, sponging. You can even apply it as a base coat underneath glitter or hard to remove nail polishes or nail polishes that stain your nails. It's absolutely amazing. Trust me, email me at dearnatural62 at yahoo.com if you wanna purchase it. So I'll be right back with the final look. So here's our final look. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know, I just think it came out so beautiful. The different shades of gray, of course, inspired by the movie Fifty Shades of Gray. The red, oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's so romantically involved. I'm in a deep relationship with this lustrous creme red. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you my thumb. I'm using the Shine For Me, this shimmery silver with a subtle blue sparkles that really turns me on. I put that on top of the Cement The Deal. I've signed anything to get my hands on this stony cool gray underneath to give it this pop. You know, it looks absolutely gorgeous. And as for the rest of the colors, in the dark gray, this brooding storming charcoal is dangerously gorgeous. And I'm also using Embrace the Gray. Let this chic, moody gray creme become one with you. This collection is absolutely gorgeous by OPI. I hope you enjoy it. If you plan on seeing the movie, if you absolutely love my water marble by Dear Natural 62, like this video. Please share it with all. Stay tuned. At the end of this video, I'm going to have some clips. So, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to follow me, definitely subscribe to Dear Natural 62 And if you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, check me out on social media at Dear Natural 62 Take care. Bye-bye. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Have you ever felt?